Yo, this is Deontay the Bronx from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow of Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellow sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. And with Custio Clayton and Sergey Olympiads fighting to a draw yesterday, Earl Spence has no more mandatories, so he can fight whoever he wants to fight after you get done with Danny Garcia. So let's get to it. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Check out the welterweight boxing playlist and boxing news playlist and share the video. So, you know, Earl Spence, he doesn't have a mandatory. As long as he beat Danny Garcia, he can get the Pacquiao fight, get the Crawford fight if he want, get the uh, Sean Porter rematch, or Keith Thurman. So, you know, everything is pretty much working in his favor right now. And with that draw last night, which I didn't think it was truly a draw, but I didn't score. I thought Custio Clayton was winning by the naked eye. But um, now the pressure is even more on him to make the fights that people want to see. And it depends on what he looked like when he fight Danny Garcia. We don't know. He could look good. He could look bad. He could look great. He could look anything in between. So um, last night, I kind of predicted that when he was going to fight Qdoba, Olympias, it was probably going to be a draw. And he fought Custio Clayton and got a draw. I think Custio Clayton opened some people's eyes up that he can fight, but assume he could box. But now we look at the landscape, and now the door could be open for a Crawford fight. You know, Crawford could be crossing that street. You know what I'm saying? Earl can open the door for a Keith fight. We know Keith's not going to fight him without a tune up. He didn't fight Pacquiao without a tune up. So, I mean, he could get Sean Porter too. He get in there things. But, um, you know, if he fought Sean Porter again, that'd be interesting since Sean Porter don't like giving rematches. He didn't get no rematch to. Uh, to uh Ugas. So I don't see why Earl should get him a rematch, but I think it'll be a good fight. Um it's gonna be hard to get that fight on regular TV again since they got they touched that pay per view money. But it'll be a real good fight. Once again, I think Sean Porter gonna look at that tape. And I think he can make more adjustments in that fight than Earl could. You know what I'm saying? Just by his style. So I think Earl gonna come out and do the same thing he did before. It's gonna be up to Sean to really change it up. You know what I'm saying? And you know, see what he did wrong. And him him and Kenny they had a great game plan. You know what I'm saying? I think Sean Porter, you know, other than uh, without the knockdown, he could have argument, he could have made, he could have won the fight. But, you know, you talk about Earl fighting Keith Thurman. You know, that's a fight that people have been wanting to see for a long time. I'll take that fight. You got, you know, the aggressiveness of Earl Spence, his jab, you know, and really, you know, can he cut the ring off on Keith Thurman? You know, I would have him take that fight before he took the Bud fight because it's kind of a barometer. You know, even though Bud and Keith Thurman don't fight the same, but he, they both kind of give you that boxer puncher look. And I think that'll serve Earl Wright to fight Thurman before he even fought Bud. You know what I'm saying? I think Bud does some things better than Thurman. I think Thurman does some things better than Bud. But it'll be it'll be a good fight for him to get used to fighting a really athletic, slick guy and cutting the ring off on Keith Thurman. If he can cut the ring off Keith Thurman, he probably cut the ring off anybody in the division. So it'll be a good fight. You know, Keith Thurman's a risky guy. He can punch, you know. You know, he can really punch. So um, what he's going to come out to do is try to hurt EJ early. And, you know, establish respect. So we don't know if EJ get hurt. Is he Does he have some, the defense mechanism to go into the defensive mode? Or is it going to really, you know, make him really go into an animalistic state and, and, and really tear Keith Thurman up? So we don't know, you know. It's a fight that should have happened a few years ago. It didn't. I mean, you can keep going on. You can say, what if he fight Pacquiao? That's an interesting fight. You know, you got a soft palm Pacquiao, fast hands. You know, going to show him some angles he ain't seen before. Two soft paws. You don't see that every Saturday night. So, um, that's an interesting fight. You know, it depends what he look like. I think Pacquiao could have edged him at one point. But, you know, who knows? He A year of inactivity. Well, shit, almost by the time he come back, it might be almost 16 months of inactivity. But it'll be interesting. Now, obviously, you got to think, of what if Mikey beat Pacquiao with Earl Spence? But people be down to see Earl Spence versus Mikey, too. So, um, that's an interesting thing, man. But, you know, Earl cleared his mandatories out once he beat Danny Garcia. What is it, December 5th? He can do what he want to do, and it's going to be a ton of pressure from people, you know, that want to see him and Bud fight to make the fight. But, you know, strictly taking my boxing fan hat off and putting my boxing promoter hat on, I would have him fight Keith Thurman before he fought Bud, or before he fought Bud. You know, kind of get that look. You know, Keith load up on the shots and Bud don't. Bud is more of a excuse me, straight puncher guy, Keith Moore, a looping guy, but I'm just saying, get used to that that rhythmic, slick movement. 
he ain't fought too many guys who got that rhythm and slick movement. And a lot of times when you see when you don't see a fighter fight a particular style, that means matchmakers are matching him away from that style. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's gonna be about him, you know, being slick, catching and shooting. Um, you know, that's what it's gonna be about. Being slick, catching and shooting, man, and and and, and you know, getting used to that style. You know, if he can get used to that style, you know, he'd be all right. You know, you got a guy that's sitting in front of you, you can't hit him. You know, jab to the body, jab to the head. That's what, you know, you got to start touching him with the jab. When you start touching with the jab, then you can start hitting him with them twos, threes, and that garlic butter. Bop, bop, bop. But, you know, that's what I would do personally. Put him in there with Thurman first. Then I put him in there with Bud. Even if Bud come across the street, get Bud to tune up. As a fan, I want to see it now. You know, Earl, Mikey probably going to fight Manny. That's a fight. That's a fact. My, you know, and then Manny probably going to fight McGregor, and he's going to leave. But, you know, it's up to Earl Spence, you know, to really do what he want to do at this point in his career. Um, but that loss, that draw last night, it gave him another chance to not to fight the mandatory. So, who knows? They might come back in March and do it again. Custio Clayton Lippias. Then you got Qdoba in there that deserve a shot. So, Earl Spence ain't have to worry about a man, IBF fight for another year and some change. So, you know, now it clears the way for him to fight Bud or fight Thurman. But like I said before, I wouldn't get Sean Porter rematch. He don't get rematches. I know if I'm, you know, if Danny fight close, you know, you might have to get him a rematch. You know, um, you know, Keith Thurman. You know, I would have him fight Keith first. You know, Keith should be next. I have to get down in November. You know, Keith should have a tune-up fight. Him and Keith should be next, and we know they're gonna put a hundred dollar pay per view tag on that one. If the movie theater is fully back open, I'll go to the theater to see that one. But um, that's still a fight that I'm interested in. But um, we'll see, man. We'll, we'll definitely see what happens. But the, the the coast is clear for you. you no know, no more excuses. Y'all both can take a tune-up fight and fight later in summer. Y'all can fight at the top of next year, to be honest. You know, go ahead and fight. It'll be interesting. It's an interesting fight. It's a fight people want to see. But I think the Thurman fight is something that he needs to take first. Take on first. But let's switch gears to talk about Floyd Mayweather. All day, money, man. Oh, okay, I I don't know, you know, Leonard. If I want to work Tank's corner, okay, um um every day, you know, I'll be telling Tank, you know, duck and dodge in and out the ring. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, yeah, Floyd said he don't know if he's gonna work Javante Tank Davis corner. Um, I think that's a good thing. He don't need Floyd in his corner. He got Calvin. Calvin get him all the advice he need to get him. Floyd is just gonna be a distraction in that man corner. You know what I'm saying? You know, unless Floyd, you know, got some, uh, you know. Cut man experience, and that's always good for the trainer to have cut man experience. You know, every trainer in boxing should learn how to be a cut man because sometimes you get multiple cuts, and the cut man can work on or bruises or or swelling. Cut man can work on one side of the cut, and once one cut in the corner, the coach can work on the other side of the cut. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good. It's always good to have a, a you know, cut a, a, a trainer that can be the cut man as well, but. Floyd ain't going to be no, but nothing but a distraction in that fight. Talking over Calvin, confusing the boy. You know what I'm saying? But if it is a fight that he, he should work the corner, it should be this one. It shouldn't be too tough to fight Leo Santa Cruz. Um, I think Calvin can, can Calvin can get him through this, man. I think Calvin, you know, can really coach him through this. Let Calvin do his thing. He the coach. Floyd is just there as the liaison, as an extra pair of eyes. But I remember he worked J. Leon Love corner when he fought Derek Finley in uh, Detroit. But um, but I just let Tank just get used to what he used to. I mean, if y'all going over it in camp, and you and Calvin got that rapport where you know y'all can finish each other's sentences, or Calvin no one to talk and Floyd no one to talk, if that's something they've been 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 practicing a routine they've been going through, then I don't have no f issue with Floyd working this corner. But if they haven't been doing this, or they've been clashing in the gym, and if Calvin saying one thing, Floyd saying another thing, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Let let Calvin Ford coach his fighter. You know he know Tank. He been coaching Tank since a kid. Let him coach his fighter. Floyd ain't needed in that in that corner in camp. He need Floyd to keep him on the right on the right track. You know they basically they basically trying to keep Javante on the tether. He been told Javante to leave Baltimore, get out of Atlanta, and come to Vegas. He don't want to listen. You know, but we will see, man. But let Calvin work that uh, corner, and Floyd he don't need to really work that corner. Let that man, uh, you know, let that man coach his kid, man. And, you know, in camp, you can give him an extra, you know, extra set of rules or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. Money, man, all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Earl Spence not having no mandatory clearing the way for him fighting Bud. Let me know what you guys think about Floyd saying he may or may not work. Javante Tank Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz. 
But um, Calvin is, you know, like Lawrence Williams said, Calvin is the star of all access. You know what I'm saying? A guy that turns his life around after doing 10 years in the pen for drugs. It's always good to see, you know, positivity, man. You know, you know, some people say it's impossible to rehabilitate yourself after after going to prison. I know a lot of guys just rehabilitated themselves and, you know, did the right path for Calvin, one of them. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, quarry, response, video request. All my social media links in the description. Uh, also, check out the Facebook group. That link's in the description as well, too. Uh, Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is share the video. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. One time for the one time we're gone.